The History of Polaroid Polaroid is an American company that is a brand licensor and marketer of its portfolio of consumer electronics to companies that distribute consumer electronics and eyewear. It is best known for its Polaroid instant film and cameras. The company was founded in 1937 by Edwin H. Land, to exploit the use of its Polaroid polarizing polymer. Land ran the company until 1981. Its peak employment was 21,000 in 1978, and its peak revenue was $3 billion in 1991. When the original Polaroid Corporation was declared bankrupt in 2001, its brand and assets were sold off. The new Polaroid formed as a result itself declared bankruptcy in 2008, resulting in a further sale and the present-day Polaroid Corporation growth under its founder. The original Polaroid Corporation was founded in Cambridge, Massachusetts by Edwin Land in 1937. Described by the Boston Globe as a juggernaut of innovation, in many respects Polaroid was the apple of its time with a leader in Edwin Land, a scientist who guided the company as the founding CEO for four decades. Polaroid's initial market was in polarized sunglasses, spawned from Land's self-guided research in light polarization. Land, having completed his freshman year at Harvard University, left to pursue this market, resulting in Polaroid's birth. Land later returned to Harvard to continue his research. Polaroid, owning patents to its polarizer technology, got its start by employing polarization in products that included 3D movies and glare-reducing goggles for dogs. During World War II, Polaroid designed and manufactured numerous products for the armed services including an infrared night viewing device. He led the company as CEO for 43 years. He headed the Polaroid Corporation, developing it from a small research and marketing firm into one of the best-known high-tech companies ever. Kodak was a customer for some of Land's polarizing products. Recognized by most as the father of instant photography, he included all the operations of a darkroom inside the film itself. Land was pictured on the cover of Life magazine in 1972 with the inscription, A Genius and His Magic Camera. When Kodak announced instant film cameras in 1976, Polaroid announced they were suing them, accusing Kodak of having stolen its patented instant photography process. In the two years that followed the lawsuit, total sales of instant cameras climbed from 7.4 million cameras in 1976 to 10.3 million in 1977 and 14.3 million in 1978. The suit in federal court lasted 10 years. Polaroid asked for $12 billion for infringements of its patents by Kodak. The court ruled in favor of Polaroid and ordered Kodak to cease instant picture production, plus pay Polaroid $909.5 million of the $12 billion it had asked for decline. In 1977, Land introduced the Polaroid instant home movie camera named Polavision, based on the Duffet color process. However, the product arrived on the market when videotape-based systems were rapidly gaining popularity. Thus it failed to sell well in retail stores and has been described as the swan song for Polaroid. After four decades as chairman, Edwin Land was coerced to resign and leave the corporation he had founded. He died in 1991. The Polar Vision debacle eventually caused the company to write off $89 million, including most of the manufactured products. The underlying technology of Polar Vision was later improved for use in the Polar Chrome Instant Slide film system. In the 1980s, Polaroid tried to reinvent itself without land at its helm by shifting away from a dependence on consumer photography, a market which was in steady decline. Polaroid was forced to make wholesale changes that included having to fire thousands of workers and close many factories. The 1990s saw the advent of new technologies that profoundly changed the world of photography, one-hour color film processing, single-use cameras from competitors, videotape camcorders, and digital cameras. The company also was one of the early manufacturers of digital cameras, with the PDC-2000 in 1996. However, 
they failed to capture a large market share in that segment. They also made 35mm and multi-format scanners, such as Polaroid Spirit Scan 4035mm scanner, the first scanner with a 4000 dpi CCD, in 1999, and the Polaroid Print Scan 120 in 2000. The scanners received mixed reviews and saw heavy competition from Nikon and Minolta products. The entire line was discontinued when Polaroid entered bankruptcy in 2001. Bankruptcy and the New Polaroid Corporation Chapter 11 Controversy The original Polaroid Corporation filed for federal bankruptcy protection on October 11, 2001. The outcome was that within 10 months, most of the business, including the Polaroid name itself and non-bankrupt foreign subsidiaries, had been sold to Bank One's One Equity Partners, OEP. OEP Imaging Corporation then changed its name to Polaroid Holding Company, PHC. However, this new company operates using the name of its bankrupt predecessor, Polaroid Corporation. Significant criticism surrounded this takeover because the process left executives of the company with large bonuses, while stockholders, as well as current and retired employees, were left with nothing. The company announced a plan that gave the top 45 executives bonuses just for staying at their jobs. Meanwhile, other employees were restricted from selling their stock before leaving their jobs. As part of the settlement, the original Polaroid Corporation changed its name to Primary PDC Incorporated having sold its assets, it was now effectively nothing more than an administrative shell. Primary PDC received approximately 35% of the new Polaroid, which was to be distributed to its unsecured creditors, including bondholders. As of late 2006 Primary PDC remained in existence under Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Protection, but conducts no commercial business and has no employees. Polaroid's bankruptcy is widely attributed to the failure of senior management, unable to anticipate the impact of digital cameras on its film business. This type of managerial failure is also known as the success trap. Use of Polaroid brand following bankruptcy After the bankruptcy, the Polaroid brand was licensed for use on other products with the assistance of Skadden, Arps, Slate, Ma, and Flom. In September 2002, Worldwide Licenses, a subsidiary of the character group PLC, was granted the exclusive rights for three years to manufacture and sell digital cameras under the Polaroid brand for distribution internationally. Polaroid branded LCDs and plasma televisions and portable DVD players had also appeared on the market. On April 27, 2005, Petters Group Worldwide announced its acquisition of PHC. Petters has in the past bought up failed companies with well-known names for the value of those names. The same year, Flextronics purchased Polaroid's manufacturing operations and the decision was made to send most of the manufacturing to China. It stopped making Polaroid cameras in 2007 and discontinued the sale of Polaroid film after 2009 to the dismay of loyal consumers. On December 18, 2008, the post-reorganization Polaroid Corporation filed for Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Protection in U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Minnesota. The bankruptcy filing came shortly after the criminal investigation of its parent company, Petters Group Worldwide, and the parent company founder, Tom Petters, auction for Polaroid Corporation's assets. On April 2, 2009, Patriarch Partners won an auction for Polaroid Corporation's assets including the company's name, intellectual property, and photography collection. Patriarch's $59.1 million bid beat bids from PHC Acquisitions, Hilco Consumer Capital Corp., and Ritchie Capital. This led to some very contentious fighting and litigation, and Patriarch wound up walking away in early May, 2009 and a joint venture between Gordon Brothers Brands LLC and Hilco Consumer Capital LP picked up the pieces. Quoting from a Reuters report which quoted some participants. The move by New York-based Patriarch, a private equity firm, 
follows U.S. District Judge James Rosenbaum's ruling on Thursday in Minneapolis that putting the purchase on hold during appeal would threaten operations at Polaroid, which is spending its cash at a rate of $3 million a month. On April 16, 2009, Polaroid won U.S. bankruptcy court approval to be sold to a joint venture of Hilco Consumer Capital LP of Toronto and Gordon Brothers Brands LLC of Boston. Hilco Consumer Capital and Gordon Brothers Brands announced the closing of the purchase of Polaroid Corporation on May 7, 2009 placing Polaroid Corporation in joint holding under a parent company named PLRIP Holdings, LLC. Former Executive Vice President and General Manager, Americas, Scott W. Hardy was named as the new President of Polaroid Corporation and PLRIP Holdings, LLC. The majority of employees remained in their positions at the company's Mini Tonka, Minnesota headquarters as well as office locations in Boston, New York, and Toronto. On June 19, 2009, the new holding corporation for Polaroid, PLRIP Holdings, LLC announced an exclusive five-year agreement with Summit Global Group to produce and distribute Polaroid-branded digital still cameras, digital video cameras, digital photo frames and BOGO-branded mobile products. Summit Global Group added several former Polaroid employees to their staff. The company expects the agreement to yield $1.3 billion in retail sales over an unspecified period beginning in 2009. Licensor On January 5, 2010, Polaroid appointed Lady Gaga as creative director for the company. A press release stated that she would be the new face of Polaroid. Discontinuation and planned relaunch of Polaroid film On February 8, 2008, Polaroid under the control of Thomas J. Petters of Petters Group Worldwide, announced that the company has decided to gradually cease production and withdraw from analog instant film products completely in 2008. Since March 2010, instant film materials for vintage Polaroid cameras have again become available on the market, developed and manufactured by a group called The Impossible Project, at the former Polaroid production plant in Enskede. Netherlands. Austrian photographer Florian Caps, the owner of the largest online vendor for SX70 films and organizer of the web based instant photo gallery Polonoid.net, had bought the approximately 500,000 film packages that were on stock. He teamed with Andre Bosman, a former head of film production in the large Polaroid film factory at Enskede designed a plan to redesign the SX-7600 film system in collaboration with Ilford Photo, and convinced the Polaroid owners to participate. Plans for a relaunch under the Impossible label were announced in January 2009. Buildings in the Inskeed plant, which had produced 30 million film packs in 2007 and 24 million in the first half of 2008, were leased to the company created by Caps who by May 2009 had raised $2.6 million from friends and family for what he had named the Impossible Project. On March 22, 2010, the Impossible Project announced the release of two monochromatic films, PX100 and PX600, compatible with SX70 and 600 type cameras, respectively. Color films were initially released in 2010 for SX-70 type cameras, followed in 2011 with the release of much improved color films for Polaroid 600, SX-70 and Spectra cameras. Polaroid had originally announced a new camera, styled after older models to coincide with the new films, but this was due before Christmas 2010, a deadline which passed with no new information on this new camera. On April 28, 2012 the documentary Time Zero, the last year of Polaroid film, directed by Grant Hamilton, was released in the U.S. It covers the rise, fall, and grassroots revival of Polaroid's instant film technology. Thank you for watching.